And welcome back everybody, welcome back to the Morpho project. Uh, I totally did not forget something here. Nope. Nope. I totally did not forget something here. Allow me to show you. Behold! Yes, it's the thing back again. Well Alright, uh <laughs> welcome back everybody. I totally did not uh feel that. So yeah. Today we're gonna be working on this beautiful colour right here, you might believe, and then we're gonna be using it on the wing parts. So let's get started on that. Uh, let me just do one more thing. This don't disturb, and then uh, we can start. So yeah, I hope you're all gonna be enjoying today, and uh, let's uh, let's do this because of course it's important. So yeah, let's get started on this. So the um. Last week we actually went to the um, part where we had uh, the coloring of one of the wings with the red dots and now we're going to be continuing with that part because that's important if I believe so. So yeah. So allow me to just pick up that color. I believe this is the red color. I believe it is. If it is not then well, you know, it's not going to be good. Let me just double check. All right, where is the color that I've been using? I believe I did in the uh, in the one of the top halves. Please tell me that I did not erase it. That would be horrible. Which of these do have the thing that I need? And it is this one. All right, cool. All right. Let's see if it is the right color. So. The only way to test it is to erase it like that. Is that the right? Is that red? Oh, it is. It's definitely red. This is the red I believe it needs to be? Probably not, but we will see very soon. So today we're going to be working on that. Um, let's figure it out. We're going to pick up the toy that we need, or well, the brush. There you go. Is that the one that I need? Yes it is. Awesome. Alright, cool. Let's get started on this. So first things first, we need to uh, get the other one done. Yep, like that. And then we can start. So, how to do it? Um, well, we need to just get this thing like this. It looks like I already have been starting here, so that's good. That's not the right color. Hmm. So, I use a different kind of color then. This one, right? Yes. Uh, a little bit less, please. Thank you. All right, we're gonna make a new set of colors here, right here, just so that I can get that beautiful color in there, so that I can pick it up, so that I won't won't lose it this time, because that's the thing that can occur. So yeah, let's get started. Um, so yeah, today is going to be a lovely day. We're going to be working again on this and then hopefully we can uh, be able to do everything now. So the main the main problem I always deal with with these kind of uh, uh, with this kind of thing is like uh, am I using the right amount of color? Am I using the right amount of things in this? So yeah. That's I need a little bit more darker, I believe. Something like this, right? Yeah. That's better. Right. Let's continue. So yeah. I hope you'll have a lovely day already, because I had, uh, but 
yeah, this this is a really hard thing for me to do normally. It's not hard in a difficult part, but it's more like hard of concentration, get this thing fixed, get on with working or something like that. The main reason I'm working on this is right now is to like, you know, I want this I want this project to be done. Because I have some new things that I want to test out and new things I need to work on anyway. But uh, of course I'm not going to be rushing this, oh hell no. That is the worst case scenario of my my art. If I rush things then I will get myself a big giant platter of food that I'm going to be hitting myself in the face with. And nobody wants that. Definitely nobody wants that. Nobody at all wants to have that kind of adorable things to happen to you guys. Or at least to me at least. I don't want that to happen to me. That's the worst case scenario of, uh, well, that's a problem. Like that kind of idea. Anyway. So, how am I going to be fixing this? Well, uh, it's just taking time. I just need to get this drawing. You piece of shit, you piece of garbage. All the time, all the fucking time it happens to me. Alright, just a little bit to the left. Raise this. Put a new one down. There you go. It's really annoying when these things happen. I normally don't do this like really oh well it happens all the time you know because of somehow mister you know pencil decides to change colors because I exa accidentally trigger it that's when I need to change things so yeah so what I'm gonna be doing here is just adding uh, a little bit of you know color to it and then get the other color then soon afterwards so that we're gonna have like the full coloring of it so yeah. Um I do think that this color is actually quite nice looking afterwards, but now it's just like oh it's just two colors. Wow. Just two colors, that looks horrible. Yes, I know. But like I said with the tail part, it will look better afterwards. So better not start complaining here and just get on with the work because that's important we need to have this thing done I want to go I want you guys to show you that I can do this I mean like really drawing feathers and then coloring them in of course I couldn't do more st I can do more stuff but this is important right now it's a thing that I have been working on now for quite a while already like I think 60 hours in so yeah it's important that the uh, this drawing gets itself uh, up and running. I mean, obviously, you know, if I would have done this, I could have done this way easier if I just worked on it like every day. I could have worked on it, but that makes the whole that makes the whole thing of recording it pointless. And I'm doing this for the recording as well because I like to learn of my own mistakes, and seeing my own mistakes in the recording is actually really helpful. Especially when it comes to like, oh, you idiot, what did you do? And then, you know, you figure out like, ah, that's not what I supposed to touch there. It's quite funny that, uh, you know, you can see your own mistakes if you record stuff. But yeah, it's a thing that I need to make sure, uh, make, need to, make sure to do. And, uh, well, I'm going to be doing it. So yeah. Um, after fixing this, I will be able to get, uh, how do you say, after, you yeah, know, it's not technically fixing it, it's actually working on it anyway. Ugh, fixing. It's like, you know, you need to fix your, you need to fix your damn PC, no. It's not like that kind of fixing. It's more like, you know, concentrating on getting this color in the right spot and then working with it. And afterwards, you know, you're gonna get rewarded because the look of it is really cool. 
And you're probably saying like, oh my god, people are doing way faster and way better than you. Well, yes, that's what people do. They have more experience with coloring or more experience with drawing and they will produce better pro products. But as long as you just work on your product and you know improve with what uh, what what you have already, you're gonna get a better you're gonna get better and better at it. Like for instance, this uh, this drawing already has far more details in it than the book project. Well, it does, but it also doesn't have a lot more details. The details are concentrated in one central area, and uh, if I actually want to complete this into a complete aspect so I will have like a big giant background of it as well yes then the the book project would actually you know be less of details than this one the main issue I'm dealing here with this is actually you know all the the artwork you know the coloring part of it it takes a long time to do things like that and I really am, and I'm really getting better at it I just need to work on it I don't want to be doing things uh, quite problematic but I just need to do make sure that I have time for it and today I actually have been working on my uh, how do you say uh, writing yes the word there you go I've been working on my writing today and uh, well I'll tell you this I got actually pretty far I actually qu I actually came to the part where you know the main protagonist was you know waking up from its slumber because a loud thunderstorm is raging and he could not sleep and he is looking back at its clock and no time has changed you know almost and then you know he hears like the tavern door getting opened and he hears a familiar voice he comes down sees the uh, geographer coming uh, sitting down at the place and he's like what I thought you were I thought you were not go uh, coming back and you know apparently she had a date and then uh, you know they're gonna be talking about that date because it's important that what she, she's like a very fanatic person who is always into ju ju geography yeah that's the word into into buildings and uh, places where you know you need to go so what is what is with this place what is what 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 you're gonna do with it so yeah now I only need to make sure that I have that conversation fully done I don't know how much I'm gonna be writing of that conversation maybe I will uh, split it in two halves like oh yeah she's gonna be talking and then you know some time passes but yeah it's it's important for the story that she knows uh, that she knows about this about this information that's why she had this date with this uh, ambassador and she is you know talking all this smush talk about him so yeah it, she really likes him because you know it's it was a date afterwards after she was talking to him so yeah yeah that happens sometimes man when you talk to nice and gentle people you know you're you're really falling for them for their charms and yeah you're gonna have a li nice little dinner with them and yeah, that's uh that's the thing that I did. I uh, I put it there in just to get get her to have like well not a crush but eh, sort of crush on this guy because this guy is gonna be betraying her in the end and I want this to be well obvious that this guy is gonna be backstabbing her big time. That's why I actually wrote the second chapter of oh well the second part of the chapter that yeah she he's gonna get the uh, explorer team and uh, will collect the the stuff that they need hopefully that will be you know that part of you know that they are gonna be backstabbed by this guy hopefully that part is gonna be turning out well good but yeah so far I'm been working now on the on chapter 4 also, I need to make sure that I have consistency in my book, so I need to make sure that the uh, main character actually knows about what she likes, and that is the constellations, because she knows them at, by hand, and that's also that's why I actually need to drag the whole conversation to a big time. I mean, it's very funny to see all, all of this appearing, you know, uh, writing it all down, and then seeing the end result of it but 
Holy hell. Today, I was like, I was one and a half hours in and on the writing and I was like, yep, I'm blank. So yeah, it happens. But at least I wrote. I wrote a part of the story. I am very happy that I got that far. I am not the best in conversation writing. Holy hell, that's uh, that's another sh that's another sh uh, shack I need to uh, get because holy hell, that's hard to do. The main reason why it's hard to do is actually that I'm not very familiar with conversations at all. So yeah, I'm writing it from an uh, from an aspect of my experience with a conversation, and that means like, eh, I have to fake conversations, great. <laughs> Because I'm not good with them. Definitely not good with them because they they get really awkward really fast. Especially if I don't have the things to talk about. <laughs> like this one. Yeah, I have nothing to talk about, so why would I talk ish? So yeah, I'm trying to do my very best on getting this. I believe I need to do redo the bottom half soon. I believe so. Yeah. Probably. Oh well, it happens. Anyway, so yeah, the the writing part of the conversation is a little bit iffy because eh, I don't know how to write a proper conversation. And uh, I'm trying to learn it, trust me, I'm trying to do my best to do it correctly, but it's a little bit hard for me at hand. Because I'm more tending to do stuff my way? Yes? No? Yes, wordings, definitely wordings. So yeah, I'm trying to do my very best here, yeah, and uh, I'll try to do my very best upon reaching my goals. Like for instance, working on this artwork gives me like, you know, motivation to do more. But I need to make sure that, you know, all the stuff that I do, uh, all the stuff I do on this artwork, it needs to be done correctly. Otherwise, you know, it has no. Otherwise, if I would have done, if I would not have done this, like for instance, right now, writing this, making the part, the top parts red, it would have been redundant if I would not have a uh, have a reason why I do it. Well, the reason why I'm doing it is because I want to, uh, I want to have this color scheme in the wings, and to do so, I need that reddish top part. Otherwise, I would not have been able to. Anyway, so yeah, um, that's what I have been doing today. I have been writing, I have been trying to get myself to write, and uh, I got as far as the start of the conversation, and uh, now I'm like, ah, and now I'm stuck. So yeah. Congratulations me on uh, getting that that far, but it's uh, it's important. It's definitely important to have that part already done. I set the I set the I set the mood, and now I need to make sure that I have the mood correctly done. So I set the mood. Now I need to make sure that the mood is followed. Um. So yeah. Uh. What I'm gonna be doing today is as always the same as always. And that's just you know getting these red reddish. Layers on the uh, on the on the wings, and then finally I will be able to do things properly. But holy hell, I am not good at making things right, especially when it comes to these things. They're so annoying because they're so much work, and I didn't know. All right, I didn't know. But the good news is, because I didn't know, I can only I'm the only one to blame here. So yeah. If I would not have known that I had to implement, you know, the coloration, uh, the the sk the colors scheme into the wings, I would not have gone this far. I would have probably just moved on to the body or something else, and then somehow it will look odd. And because it looked odd, it would not be perfect. Yeah, I think that's the right wording. It would not be perfect. And I hope I I hope you guys already know that I'm really a man I'm really a man of fan oh well I'm a really fan of you know perfect. It's a thing that I cannot resist. 
I always want to have things to be as they're supposed to be. Perfect. Because if I don't make it perfect, you know, it, it won't be satisfied for me. And if I'm not satisfied, well, you know, you can say goodbye to my motivation. So that's why I'm always trying to finish my artwork and then move on. Because I cannot, I cannot, you know, uh, I have this weakness of, you know, oh no, I did not do it correctly and now the artwork sucks. Urgh. That's gonna be a bummer. So yeah, I try to do my best. All I try to do my best on the artwork, and then only then move on. Otherwise, it won't. You know, next time it won't be as good because I did not put my soul into it. And uh, yeah, putting your soul into an artwork is actually really good. Yeah, it's really good to do because if you put your soul into an artwork, it actually will become better. I believe. So yeah. Um how far I already got that's now how I am. Yeah. How far I'm already am is and how far I already uh got, it's like yeah, I know that this this is probably gonna be the most easiest thing for you guys to look at like oh my god he's just building rat everywhere on the tips of this birdie wing and I'm like yes that's exactly what I'm doing you wanna know why because I'm trying to do my very best upon getting the pattern right the color pal palette right if that doesn't work if it doesn't look like you know it's the color palette then yes it will look very strange and if it will look very strange, you're not gonna have a good color palette because then you know things are off, and if things are off, people can see it. Sometimes the minor details, uh, sometimes the minor details can cause distortion in your artwork, and those minor details need to be adjusted. Not always, but most of the times, it's a very good idea to adjust things as they come. So yeah, I'm trying to do my very best upon getting this done, and uh, I am so far, and uh, I got so far already, and I want to be continuing on that uh, thought, thinking process, yes. So yeah, I'm very happy how far I got already. Oh hey Mark! Yes, it's indeed a bird. It's a bird bird. It's a very good bird. So now I'm gonna be looking for uh, mistakes I made here, and I did, because this is not the full color. Yes, that's not the full color indeed. So we're gonna be fixing this up, right up. We're gonna fix this right up because we know that we fi need to be f that it needs to be fixed. So yeah, I was right about this. I was definitely right about this. It missed the blue. I missed the black. I missed the ready part of it. So yeah, I hope uh, I hope you're all gonna be enjoying this because I'm trying to do my very best upon making this entertaining. Even though you know it's just you know coloring things. It's not like a big thing really. It's just a couple of small things. But yeah. I also promised myself to work on my writing this week, so that's why I'm trying to do my very best upon getting a decent, you know, part done. And I think, you know, how far I already am, it uh, will be looking quite easily afterwards. Uh, would have been way easier if I just talked to someone and just write that composition down. That would have been way easier. Because then I can just be like, oh, oh. Ah, all right, fine. So yeah, yes, yeah, it's the bird, the bird. Yes, it's uh, it's the the bird indeed, a very the bird, a very German bird. Yes. Anyway, uh, any anyway, anyway, uh, I'm trying to do my very best here. So, and uh, yeah, of course, the colors are always important.
because apparently Kobos are actually giving life to your drone. Even though you know you're used to black and white, it's still important that you implement colors into your drawing. I probably should give you know my art style, my second art style, a second chance next week. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a second chance, people. Gonna give it a second chance of not being disappointed. Oh well, I'm trying to do the outlines and all that stuff. So yeah, I probably will be able to do it. It just takes time and uh, practice. But yeah, I can do it. I believe in myself that I can do it, and therefore I can do it. If I would not have been believing in myself, I would have not been able to do this. So yeah, I'm trying to do my very best here, and uh, wish me all good luck on this, on this quest of, you know, being able to uh, color, draw, and shade in one in one go. Probably gonna be doing something very cheap and cheeky, but hey, you know, it's freedom. So what you gonna do about it? So yeah, after all, it's important. So now, what we're gonna be doing? Uh, we're gonna finish off this coloration, and then we're almost done with this one. Da 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 da. What? No. What did you press, you piece of shit button? Oh, you pressed something, didn't you? Yep, you did. Excuse me. Uh, technical difficulties. Yep. I pressed the button, and I don't know which one. And now I I cannot use this. Con I cannot use the mouse. Great. I shut down my own mouse. Lovely. All right. Uh. So, uh, let's see. I cannot touch this. I cannot touch it. No, I can't. Allow me to just double check. Task manager. Uh, nope, not that one. I need Webcon. Web, Web, Webcon. Yeah, Webcon center. Give me um uh, a sign. Yes, a sign would be lovely. All right, it is. All right, it is connected. That means that I only need to restart Krita. All right, cool. Krita restarting. That's that's doable. Uh, save. Yes, I like to save this. Yes, I like to save it, and I cannot touch it. God damn it. I like to save it. Yes. Can you please save it for me? Thank you. So yeah. Um. Mm, great. That uh, this uh, this normally doesn't happen that much, but uh, apparently it did. Tactical difficulties. It's great when um, I totally press a button that I don't know why or, why or what it was. All right. So yeah, uh, we're gonna be waiting for Krita to launch again, and we are good to go now. That's good. So yeah. Uh, after this, I'm probably gonna be you know. After this project, I will probably do something else. So I'll I'll, I'll show you guys. Trust me, it's gonna be all, it's gonna be hilarious for your part. It's gonna be not hilarious for my part. It's gonna be suffering to the to the roof. But hey, you know what you gonna do about it? It's Christmas. I think that's the right quote. Yeah, probably. Even though it's not Christmas at all. No. Come on. I believe in you. Yeah, there you are, you beautiful bird. Oh, you are a beautiful bird there. Oh, yes, you are. Alright, let's continue on this uh, epic journey of... Uh, ah, see? Mouse. Everything's back. Awesome. Let's take a look at it. Alright, so... Did I do it now correctly? Did... Is now the coloration correct? Yes, it is. Alright, good. Is there some differences? Uh, small, small differences, but not that many. Not that many noticeable. Good. All right. All right. There you go. So the idea here is that I'm actually. <laughs> Come on. Work with me. Work with me. Don't crash on me, you piece of junk. There you go. 
Come on. Uh, Alright. Nasty little bugger. Always trying to lag spike me into oblivion, you bastard. Anyway, that happens. Alright, so uh, how many wings do we all need to left? Well, this is the full wing. So I believe we only need three more, two more, and then we are done with that part. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So the idea of these things is like you know the red spots and then the brown spots and then the good old-fashioned color is the idea of you know referencing the uh, coloration of the wings itself that are in the middle. Which of course creates this beautiful, you know, uh, beautiful pattern that I actually want to uh, use more. Also, I don't know, but I'm thinking I'm gonna go for red crystals. So yeah, um, and I totally screwed this over then again. Yay! All right. So yeah, the ma uh, the. The tactical difficulties is sometimes that I touch things with my mouse, like this or this one. So yeah, um, these things are very nasty. They're really good if you're using them, but they're not good if you are, you know, busy drawing and then suddenly they appear and then you, they change your color. It's like surprise, and I, and you're like, no, I don't want surprises. They are evil. So yeah. It's a thing that uh, can happen. Normally, I try to do my very best, you know, to prevent them from happening, but uh, not every time I'm able to do it. So, yeah, you got that part. That's why there are technical difficulties, and sometimes, you know, the stream r r r runs fine, and sometimes it doesn't. You know, it happens to the best, I guess. It's quite funny, actually, that uh, how far I already am and how far I already got with this drawing. And you can already see how much time and effort it takes to just make a drawing in, uh, 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 of this caliber, you know? It's only, you know, uh, the, it's not only the color part, no, it's also the drawing part. Some people have an art style that works really fast. Some people have an art style that can be easily uh, copied. Some people are like, ah, I don't want to copy this art style, that's... Uh, that's redundant, that it's not very good because it's really problematic if I do it. Like, I don't think that a lot of people can copy the art style I use because point A, they actually don't have the patience for it. Point B, it's heavily detailed, so you're gonna have a lot of problems with copying it because every single mistake you can see, and which is quite cool. Also, the detail in the detail, the detail is really important of this art style. It's like one of the main one of the main uh, positive things of it. The downside is you're gonna be a lot busy doing a lot of work. So yeah. Also, um, when I was when I was a little kid, I was never a fan of copying. Copycatting is uh, like a, a no bre a no bueno for me. It's like a not even a not even a burrito language worthy uh, kind of approach. So yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna copy things. Definitely not. Not from people. Never. Because if I copy things, then you know I rather I rather be like, oh, you copied stuff. Well, that's that's good, but it's not good. It's actually quite sad if you copy things. Well, technically, if you are trying to learn, then yes, copying might be a good idea. But if you then not improve, if you then not improve, uh, improve your own art style with it, then uh, I don't know. It's it just sounds so cheap, copying. You know, copy and pasting that sounds so cheap. But I don't know. Who am I to judge? I'm just a m I'm just an uh, I'm just a I'm just a man who knows. Uh, how to draw stuff, but you know, I also have my own weaknesses, like being over ja uh, over over jealous. Sometimes, when I see other people's art, I'm I'm always jealous. Trust me, 
I'm like, oh my god, why can I not do this? And then I'm realizing, yes, I could do it, but then I would be copying things there, so you should not do it. And then I'm like, ah, oh, yes, true. And then I try to do my very best to not copy it, but, you know, use it for my own knowledge. Like, oh, they use it like that, they use it like this, You they use it like that, and then, you know, you improve on your own art style by you know, looking at other people's work and realizing like, oh, they did use this kind of tool, they use that kind of tool. How cool, how can I implant it on my own art style? And, uh, well, that's uh, that's how I do it. I I don't want to copy people. That That's my least favorite thing to do. And I mean it. It's a, it's a horrible thing for my, for my image, for my um, mojo. Yes, the word mojo. It would really hurt if I copy someone else's artwork. It's like, oh no, you did this? How dare you? You're out of your mojo, my friend. It's like, yes, I was. Also, I know that I'm holding up. To, I'm also I know that I'm holding on to the past too many times. Sometimes, like, I'm only good at drawing dragons. All right, dragons, cr uh, creatures, insects. Those are my type of uh, go-to things, and I really should, you know, focus on drawing other things like humans, cars, buildings, all that stuff. I really need to learn because otherwise I won't be able to make everything. Well, you should not be able to make everything, but I mean, like, it would be cool if you create your own environment around, you know, a creature that you designed. Like, if you want to make a Godzilla-like monster, all right. And you don't know how to make buildings. Well, it's very good if you then know how to make buildings, because then you can make the buildings explode, for instance. Which is quite cool. I must say the least. So yeah, um, I'm trying to do my very best up on, you know, learning stuff. Learning things. Learning how to draw armor. Go first for the comfortable one, and then go for the second uncomfortable one, and then go for the other uncomfortable one. I, of course, need to learn that. It's one of those things that, you know, I try to learn, and uh, I will get there, eventually. It just takes me a couple of years. But I will get better at my drawings, because I try to improve on my own drawings, I try to improve on my own artwork. And I see my own errors in my artwork, which is very annoying, because it frustrates me to the hell. Like, I know this is not good, but it is at least great, but then it's like, ah, I can see this. Ugh. I'm like, all right, move on, move on, just, just ignore it for now, because you know you're trying to do, you're trying to improve, and therefore you need to learn about your mistakes and how you prevent them to, from happening. And those things, you know, I learn by, you know, doing it. Apparently, doing stuff makes you go smarter. What? Well, you know, experience is also a way of uh, learning. So yeah, experience is important. And uh, I don't have a lot of experience when uh, it comes to tablet drawings because uh, I never did it. In uh, only in like a year now, I have been working on these tablets, and uh, this is how far I already am. So I think I did a pretty good job on it. Not supposed to be too hard on myself because it's important for me that I learn stuff. But I, it's also important for me that I know that. I am maybe not the best right now, but I will be the best one day. I just need to believe in it, and uh, as long as I believe, I will, I will, I will succeed. And that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm just gonna be believing in that I'm doing my, that I'm doing great. I'm just gonna be believing that I'm doing awesome. But of course, I'm not gonna be blinded by it. Oh hell no! I know what I'm doing wrong, and that's what I'm gonna be fixing the next time. It's quite cool that you actually, you know, realize that you made a mistake and then, you know, you try to fix it your own and then you realize like, oh my god, I cannot fix this mistake. And I'm like, yeah, next time I need to do it the other way around. Next time I need to do it like this. Next time I need to do it like that. And then, you know, you are going to have like a way easier time because you finally found out how to fix everything properly. Oh damn, that's actually quite cool looking. Nice. I just saw it on the other screen.
That's cool looking uh, color right there. So yeah, uh, how late is it? Oh, Jesus, 40 minutes already and dang it, dang it, that's a lot. That's so 40 minutes of, you know, me blambling on about, you know, trying to improve myself. Telling you guys how I, how I try to improve myself. Oof, I hope that was not uh, too much of uh, me talking. <laughs> well, it does show my devotion towards being better. And trust me, I have my devotions on that. So yeah, I'm very happy how far I already got. And I am so very happy how how far I already am with this channel. It might not be the much, it might not mean much to you guys, like, you know, it's uh, like 20, 40, 25 people, oh no, that subscribe to me. Well, technically, those 45 people, 6 of them or 8 of them might be, you know, will will watch this, or even more. So technically, it, the, there are more people watching it than I'm like, well not subscribe, but they watch it. So technically the people that are subscribed to me are active in watching my stuff. Which means I'm doing actually a great job. And that's also important. As long as I'm, it's not about the amount of people that are subscribed to you. It's the amount of people that watch you and interact with you and talk to you, you know. All that lovely stuff. It's important that people do that. It's important that people speak to you while you're doing a live stream. It's important that, well, it's not a, that's not important. It's important to me that you know, I can just have a casual conversation with a person while talking in the live stream if I want to, and that really satisfies me. Like, oh my god, people are actually watching this. That's awesome. You know, that kind of approach. I'm really, really happy that people are watching. It makes me happy, and hopefully that happiness will actually help make you happy. Because, you know, I always love that. I always love that, you know, just making people happy. Especially when it comes to these things. I'm trying to do my very, very best, you know, not to be the one, not be the person that, you know, always tries to force people doing stuff. But I don't think I am that kind of guy. No, actually not. I'm more the, per the person that is like, you can do this. Just believe in yourself. Just believe. And, you know, people are saying like, but it's too hard. It's like, well, then try to be better than the hardness. Try to overcome it. Be the best of the best, the very best, like no one ever was. Because that's the real quest. And, uh, well, I know. I might not be the most, you know, entertaining guy, I know it might be the best guy to talk to, because, you know, I always shut down in, in conversation sometimes, it's like, I have no idea what I'm talking about, god damn it, and I'm trying to be, like, understandable, like, ah, yes, you mean that, well, thank you, now I can know what I, what I speak, so yeah, I'm trying to do, be, I'm trying to be nice and polite, I'm trying to be the person that, you know, try to be, well, I try to be a good, a better person by, you know, improving myself, and uh, that really pays off. Improving yourself to being a better person and, you know, mind and body, that's actually the best goal, but I think after this coronavirus is gonna go flo uh, fly over, you know, once I have my vaccine, I will definitely go back to sporting, because I need to do some sports. I actually need to do some running. Because holy hell, I am sick and tired of sitting here on my lazy butt. But, uh, you know. I don't mind sitting on my lazy butt, actually. I don't mind. It's just annoying. Not annoying in a way of, you know, frustrated. It's more like an annoyingness. Like, ugh, I wish I would have been able to do it. Of course I could go just go out and do it, but nah. That's no joke. That's no fun. I actually want to do it on a on a place that I know, and uh, running on the places I know that is uh, not now. Anyway, um, let's continue upon what I was talking. Oh yeah, you can do it. Whatever you do, you can do it. If you never did it, well, you can do it. Like a like like a good little girl always said on a children's show, 
I never knew that I could do it. So I might be able to do it. <laughs> it's like, very funny, like, oh no, I don't know if I can do this. Eh, I never tried, so I can do it. It's like, yeah, exactly, that's, that's the spirit. Because you're never too old to learn, you're never too old to understand things. You just need to put some attention on it, you need to just put some things in it, and then everything will just be like what, what it used to be. Like for instance, I actually don't know how to, you know, write a book. I just watch other people write a book. I just listen to other people's how they write a book. I improvise upon getting that information into my head and be like, hey, maybe you should do it like this, and then, you know, Bada bing bada boom, it somehow it works, and then you know you have this magical trick of oh my god I can do it and then yeah the motivation stri uh, strikes in. So yeah. It's indeed important that you do stuff like this, but I don't know. It's quite fun that uh, you know, learning stuff. Learning how to be social, learning how to be a better person, learning how to get a conversation running, learning how to speak. I don't know. Those things are sounding pretty important in life. So yeah. I know that I actually only paid attention on my YouTube account like a year ago. So that's when I started. And the funny thing is actually, I already had my YouTube account for a long time, but I never did something with it. I was like, it's just YouTube, I can just use it for my music videos or whatsoever. And now I'm like, yeah, I could just do my recordings on it, make it a profile, make this a CV kind of profile, so that people can actually see what I'm doing, and that people know what I'm doing, so people can see uh, the profile picture. So yeah, the uh, the U the YouTube account is actually working really well for me because it actually use uh, I can actually show people off like, hey. I did this kind of project. I did this kind of project. How do you like? How do you like my art style? How do you like my way of handling it? How do you like my work way? And then people can say like, "Oh yeah, you're doing this right well," or "You're doing this wrong." And then people can, you know, uh, you know, help me getting better at it. And that is really handy dandy. Oh hey, space junk. Yes, it's brood brood time. Yes. But yeah, I'm very happy upon how far I'm already am with all of this. With all of this, I already accomplished. Because the more I accomplish, the better I get at it. The better I get at it, the better I improve. The better I improve, the more cooler and better I'm at. And one day I will just be able to sell whatever I do on, you know, I don't know, anime convention maybe. Just meet some people on anime convention, do that, do that stuff, you know. I try to be more social in social life, but uh, yeah, that's a little bit shut down tonight. That's a little bit shut down yet. So yeah, once I will be able to get all of it, you know, once I will be able to get my social life intact and my, you know, uh, moving life, like, you know, doing stuff like running, athlete, whatever, I will get the best, I will get the best of the best. Because now I am like really stuck with doing nothing. Well, not nothing. I mean, like improving is indeed something, but I'm I'm missing the uh, I'm missing the old good old days, you know, just going outside, doing a running schedule every week, you know, and uh, doing stuff. I probably should do it again, you know, start it up, just running around, you know. Probably I can do it. Probably, probably it will be for the best. And uh, wish me luck on it. Because I'm probably gonna be doing it. I will probably start with running again. Where? Well, I'm gonna be doing it. At, I'm gonna be doing it before the before the before the clock is coming. So I will be doing it at seven o'clock, and then you know start running and running and running, and then you know six times, and then I will be back. So I need to do it before I have to eat. Hmm. How to do it? How do I do that? Oh, I know. I can just plan it in. So yeah, sub, sub, <laughs> base chunk. Yes, Mark and Zidri. <laughs> Zidri, yeah, yes, comrade, yes. Anyway, 
let's take a look at this. Oh my god, this is way better looking than the one than the other ones that I have not done it. I am so glad I'm doing this. Look at this. Look at it. Look at the beautiful feathers right now. Look at this beautiful place. And you know what? I like it. I really fucking like it. I really like this kind of approach. I really do like all of this. And I'm very happy about it. So yeah. Um today was a lovely day today and uh I think uh I think this uh, I think uh, this stream actually cheered me up as well. <laughs> Somehow it did motivate me again. What are the odds? Motivation streams. Yeah, with me. So uh yeah. I hope you all love uh, I hope you all like uh, I hope you all li uh, li uh, I hope you all like this video. Well, I hope you all liked what I said. Not liking the video, of course. I'm not forcing you, but um, anyway, <laughs> this sounds so weird. Uh, I'm in a way too silly mood right now. God damn it! Damn you, motivation! All right. Anyway, uh, thanks all for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed. And uh, I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I wish you all a lovely day. And, uh, uh, yeah, bye! <laughs>